Hi everyone, Class 47 Peter here and welcome to today's video which today's video is going to be something a bit different from what I usually do today on January the 7th Hornby announced their 2019 range and so I thought I'd do a video on Hornby's new range for the year which is something I planned to do at the end of last year the reason I'm doing this is because it's just nice to do something different for a change from what I usually do. Now I just want to point out that I will not be talking about the whole range because Hornby have announced quite a lot for this year's range and that would be quite a long video and if I was to talk about everything that Hornby have announced for this year's range it would be quite a long video and I think after a while you might get a bit bored of that. So what I will do is I will link I will put a link in the description below for Hornby's 2019 range but I'll only be talking about some of the items, so I'll talk about some of the new tooled items that they've announced and some of the other items as well. And for this video I'm going to be using Hatton's website. And the reason I'm going to be using Hatton's website is because it's quicker, because at the moment Hornby's website seems to be quite slow and it has crashed a few times as well. And I think that that's because a lot of people at the moment are using the website. But anyway, let's get this video on track shall we? <laughs> Do you see what I did there? No, forget it. That was terrible. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to talk about the train set to start with. And there is quite a few that they have announced. So first of all, we have the Hornby Industrial Freight train set, which comes with a very nice little Hornby Railroad L4L there, and a couple of wagons. Then we also have the high speed train set, which comes with a high speed train in the GWR livery, and it looks like they're using the old tooling for this train set, which is quite interesting. They've also announced a Hogwarts Express train set. Now, in the past, Hornby have used the Castle class because back then Hornby did not have a GWR hall to use, but now for this train set they are going to be using their hall for this and in the livery war in the film which was 5972 Alton Hall which carried the name Hogwarts Castle so that's quite nice they've also announced that locomotive as well as a separate item with TTS sounds so that will be quite interesting then there's the mixed freight train set which comes with a class 08 and a GWR pannier tank and a couple of wagons as well. Then there's also the Santa's Express train set which they've been producing for a few years now but this time whilst the wagons are the same they're actually different colours so the open wagon or plank wagon I should say rather is a blue colour and the van at the back is a yellow colour. Apart from that though, the rest of it is the same. And then they have a Hornby Junior train set, which is the second one that they've made. And this one is a Paddington Bear train set, so it's got Paddington Bear on the side. So it is quite nice that they are expanding on the Junior train sets. I also expect they'll be making more in the future as well, which will be nice to see. Now we're going to move on to... the locomotives so first of all we'll look at the steam locos so first of all we have a class 83 flying scotsman 60103 in the BR Express passenger blue livery and that really does look gorgeous then we have the first of the new toured items and this one I was particularly excited for it's the class B2 packet Three of these have been announced. We have number four Sherwood in the Sherwood Colliery Lime Green livery. We also have Westminster in the Associated Portland Cement Green livery as well. And then there's the one that's caught my eye. Number one four five five number one four five five, excuse my stuttering there, in the National Cardboard Lime Blue. And that really does look gorgeous. So that is something I shall definitely be getting. So I can't wait for that. We also have a couple of packets as well. We've got Daphne in the Titherington Stone Co. Purple 
livery. Then we've also got number 8 bear in the light blue livery, which does look very nice. And I have to say, now originally I wasn't planning to get another packet, because I'm happy to have the one I have in the Huntley Palmer's livery. However, after seeing Bear in this light blue livery, I think I'm going to have to get another one to go with the one I already have. So when that gets released, I shall definitely look into that. I'll, I'll definitely have to get that, I think, to go with the one I have in the Huntley Palmer's livery. And those two together, you know, they would look quite nice, they would. Then we also have the next new tooled locomotive, and this one I was very, very excited about, and this is one I hoped that Hornby were going to do for this year. It's the Princess Royal Class. And they've announced three of these. We have 6201 Princess Elizabeth in the LMS Crimson Lake livery, as it's preserved. Then we have 46206 Princess Marie Louise in the BR Express Passenger Blue livery. And that is something I shall be looking forward to. So that is something I'll definitely look into getting. Because I was going to plan to buy one of the new princesses. And so I shall definitely be getting 46206 Princess Marie Louise in the BR Express Passenger Blue livery. Because the first locomotive I had was one of the old Hornby Tender Driven Princesses. And that was number 46208 Princess Helena Victoria. Which was in the BR Express Passenger Blue. So I'll definitely be getting... 46206 in this livery. And then we have Princess Arthur of Connaught in the BR Crimson. So I'm very much excited for those. It was a matter of time that Hornby were going to do this because it was inevitable that they were going to do it, but it was a matter of when. And they've announced it for this year, and I'm very happy about that. Then we have the next new tour item that they've announced, which is a GWR Class 5101 and the 61XX Large Prairies, which is interesting because Dapple a while back also announced the Large Prairies in double O gauge. So it will be interesting to see how Hornby's compares with Dapple's. I know that Dapple's will be cheaper than Hornby's, but that's not going to matter to me because I'll more than happy be willing to pay at the price that is being given to the Hornby ones. And I'm quite happy about this because since my old mainline models Prairie gave up the ghost and it's been on display on my cupboard I've been meaning to get hold of a new prairie and I had hoped that they were going to retool one of these so I'm happy that they've announced them. So we have 4154 in the GWR green we've also got 6110 in the GWR green as well 6145 in the BR black with the early emblem and we've also got 4160 in the BR line green with the light crest. So that is four that they've announced. So I'll be looking forward to those. Then we have the Class 21 Lancashire and Yorkshire Pugs, which have made a comeback, which they've been absent from Hornby's catalogues for a while now. They've announced two. There's 11244 in the LMS Black and 51207 in the BR black with the early emblem. It does go without saying that they could do the retour at some point in the future, which I'm sure they will, because the tuning is getting on now. But it's nice to see that they've announced some more of those. We've also got a couple more of the J36s. We've got 65235 Goff in the BR black with the British Railways text on the tender. And then we have this one, 5662 in the Railway Operating Division, ROD, khaki livery. And that really does look stunning. There's also a couple of Lord Nelsons as well, 30859, Robert Blake in the BR Green with the Lake Crest. And 30852 in the BR Green with the Early Emblem, which is quite nice. Then we have the Flying Scotsman. 4472 Flying Scotsman in the LNR Green in the 1960s condition as preserved by Alan Pegler. And this one seems to be gold plated because it has a lot of gold bits on it. So that's quite interesting. We've also got another packet as well, Lady Edith. 
in the Earl of Dudley's works livery. And then we have another new tall item, and this one surprised me. This is the Class A1X and A1 Terriers, which is interesting because Depot last year announced that they were going to make the Terriers as well for double O gauge, as exclusive to Rails of Sheffield. So it's going to be interesting to see how Dapples compares with the Hornby ones. The Hornby ones are cheaper. I think I'll probably go for the Hornby ones, I think. I'm certainly looking forward to these. They've announced six in total. There's 32655 in the BR Black with the early emblem. 32636 in the BR Black with the light crest. Then there's 655 Stepney in the LBSCR improved engine green. And with this particular loco, I have actually stood in the cab of the real one back in 2012 at the National Railway Museum during the Railfest event. So I am pretty tempted to get Stepney because I was going to plan to get one of the A1 and A1X for irons. And I have, I really do love Stepney idea. And in the improved engine green as well, so that's one I'm definitely going to have to get. So that's definitely going on my wish list, so I'll be looking forward to that. Then we have number five, Rolvenden in the Kenton East Sussex Railway Blue, which looks very nice. Number 751 in the South Eastern Chatham Railway Green. And 2662 in the Southern Railway Olive Green, which does look superb. So Stepney will be one to get, which is the A1 version. As for the A1X, I might get one of the black lot, the black ones, or I might go for the Southern Green, which I am tempted for. And that does look superb. I think I will definitely get the Southern Line Green one, because that does look gorgeous. So that's also going to be going on my wish list. And there's also Bitten with the two tenders, which they have announced in the past in its green livery, but this time they have announced a double tender bitten in the LNER blue livery as preserved. So that's interesting. So that will do for the steam locos. Now we're going to have a look at the diesel locos. Not all of them obviously, but we will look at some of them. OK, so now we come on to the next new tooled model, which is a diesel. And this one is quite interesting. Because it's the Ruston 48DS. I've announced four of these and they come with match wagons as well. So there's 269595 in the pale green. We also have 458957 in John Dewar and Sons Red. We have Army 802 in the War Department Green and Queen Anne in the Long Morn Distillery, Distillery Livery. Excuse my stuttering there. So I shall definitely be getting one of those because they will look interesting to have on the layout. And I quite fancy Army 802 in the War Department Green myself. So that looks quite nice. Well, having said that, the pale green livery does look nice as well, especially with the lining. So I might go for that one instead, but we'll see. But I shall definitely be getting one of these. We also have two Class 47s, both in the EWS Royal Train Claret livery. We have 47798 Princess William and 47799 Princess Henry. Sorry, <sighs> Prince Henry. <laughs> Do excuse that. We've also got 67024 in the Bellman British Portman Umber and Cream as well, which looks very nice. Okie doke. So now we'll have a look at the HSTs. And I have announced quite a few as well. So we have 43093 and 43016 in the GDBR green. One of them 
has the old Doc Common commemorative livery. And this one I've seen in real life at old Doc Common Open Day. So it's nice to see that Hornby have announced this in model form. Then we also have a pair of HST power cards in the new Scott Rail 7 Cities livery, as well as a pair as well as a pair in the yellow, the white and red. And they've also announced a couple of power cards as well in the cross country livery. Which is quite nice. And they have announced some coaches for that as well. And they've announced some coaches as well for the Scott Rail HST and the Jijua pack here that comes with the old common commemorative livery. Now we're going to have a look at some other wagons. And I'll only look at a couple of them. So first of all we have the, this is a new toured item, the 20 ton brake van. They've announced two of these. One in the LMS grey livery and then one in the BR livery. The BR bulk size that is. They've also announced the LSWR goods brake van. One in the, L in the LSWR colours. One in the SR livery, the Southern Railway livery that is. And another in the BR grey. Which looks very nice. We also can't leave out the 2019 wagon, which is a brake van this year. There's a, they've also announced another vent van with TTS sound, which is quite interesting. We'll also have a look at a couple of the couches. And there is quite a lot. So they have announced there's a couple of network rail test train coaches, which is nice. As well as a couple of Mark 1s in the Manitons Engineering yellow colours, which is also nice to see. We'll look at track Manitons vehicles now. And Hornby have released, well they've announced, I should say rather. A BR 75 ton breakdown crane, which they've announced. Well, they released. Crikey. I think the last time they released them was in the early 2000s, I think. I can't quite remember. But they haven't made them for some years now, and it's nice to see that they've announced another one and brought them back. And this one is in the BR Engineering Yellow livery, which would be quite nice. I have one of these in the BR Red, and they really are quite fun. They are nice models to have. So that'll be interesting. And it's nice to see they brought one of those back. Because like I say, they haven't produced them for quite some years now. So it's nice to see those have come back. Now we move on to electric locomotives. They've announced a couple of Class 87s. So we have 87001, Will Scott and Stevenson in the BR Blue, and 87002 in the Caledonian Sleeper Livery. And there's also a couple of 92s as well. 92. What's the number of this one? Well, this one's in the DB Red, the DB Cargo, Romanian livery. Which is 91530472001 3. So that'll be quite interesting. Then we have 92043 in the GBRF Europort livery and 92023 in the Caledonian Sleeper livery. So now we're going to have a look at some road vehicles. They've announced a couple of steam road vehicles, which is nice. There's a Fowler steamroller and a Fowler plowing engine. So that'll be nice to have. 
They've also announced some people as well, which I shall have to get some of these, I think. There's some city people, town people, working people, farm people and some sitting people, which would look nice on the station. Now we'll come on to some train packs, which there's a couple of these. We have a Class 67, which it comes in the Bellman Pullman train pack, which is a 67 in the Bellman British Pullman livery with three Pullman couches. And there's also the Northern Bell train pack with a DOS Class 47 in the Northern Bell colours and three Northern Bell couches, which they did release this a while back. They announced it in 2012. I think it was a year or so later when it was released but they have announced it again so that's quite interesting and then we'll have a look at some trees because I have announced quite a lot of trees as well which is nice. So there is quite a nice selection here of trees. In particular, one I like is the hobby fir trees, which looks quite nice. So they'll be nice to have. And I also like the deciduous trees as well. And the hobby mixed deciduous and fir trees as well, they're quite nice. So these will be nice to add onto the layout. And then we'll have a look at animals. So this is quite nice. They have announced some cows and some sheep, which will be nice to have. And we'll look at one last item, which will be buildings. I'll look at a few of these. We have a Hogsmeade station footbridge, which looks very nice. And platform nine and three quarters from the Harry Potter films as well. And that's just to name a couple. So that'll do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching this, which has been something a little bit different. For the items that I am planning to get, and I will not be pre-ordering them just yet because it's too early to be honest, and the, m the majority of the items probably won't come out until either the middle of this year or the back end of this year, but then there's always a chance that they could be delayed and might not come out till the following year. Touch wood that won't happen. But I won't be pre-ordering pre -ordering them just yet, because I won't be pre-ordering them. What I usually tend to do is I don't normally tend to pre-order any items until close to their release because that way it means I don't have to wait as long but it also means I don't miss out either on getting them. But thanks for watching this video. I hope to see you again soon. Subscribe to the channel, check out more other videos and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.